Yo, before this video starts, I am running two different giveaways. This first giveaway is new. To enter it, all you guys have to do is follow my Twitch. Once my Twitch hits 12k followers, I will pick and shoot somebody and send them a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. And to increase your odds of winning that giveaway, you guys can send me proof of a screenshot that you follow my Twitch to my Instagram or Twitter. Link to those will be in the description down below. And then I run this giveaway on all of my videos as well. To enter, make sure you guys sub up, turn on personal notifications, and hit that like button. Also, comment down below your Instagram or Twitter and let me know if you're on PS4 or Xbox. If this video hits 500 likes, I will pick and choose some out of the comment section and send them a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JR, and you guys already know I'm back with another banger and in this video i got this new practice glitch that you guys had asked for the other day i posted the xbox version and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do it on ps4 as well so yeah man uh, make sure y'all boys drop a like drop us up and enter both of my giveaways as well as you guys know i'm on xbox so i'm currently using the homie jj2k's footage in this video he gave me permission to use this video so his link will be in the description down below make sure y'all boys go check out his channel and show him some love but yeah man so again shout out to the homie jj2k with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video so to start this glitch off you guys want to um sim till the very last game of the season. Make sure you guys don't sim to the end. Sim all the way up to the last season game of the season. And then you guys also wanna make sure you're on a team that's not gonna make the playoffs. So a good team to go to is the Detroit Pistons. You can do this glitch whether you already, whether you're doing it on a new player or if you already have an existing player, I would just recommend that you guys be, you guys have to be on a team that's not gonna make the playoffs. So keep that in mind. So like I said, step one is you guys want to sim to the last game of the season. Now, once the simulation is over with, what you guys want to do is go ahead and play that game. Now, you don't have to play the game all the way through. What you guys can do is just play six minutes so it registers that you played a my career game and then you guys can foul out. You'll still get your VC or you can play out if you want. It really doesn't matter, but to speed it up, I would probably say you guys just play six minutes and then foul out. So like I said, once you get to the very last game of the season, go ahead, load that game up, and then in this game, just play uh you can play six minutes if you would like or and foul out or you can play the whole entire game um but i would say just um to make it faster just foul out and this will make the process go by a lot faster now after this game is when the glitch is going to start and after this game you'll have a practice available so you guys see right here he just skipped this game right here which is perfect and then you can spend made through all these cutscenes and stuff like that but once you get loaded back um into the nba 2k20 my career menu you guys will see right here that there is a practice available which is perfect so don't do, don't do that practice and then close out the application and then you guys want to go to application save data management and then you guys can go to save data and system storage or you can use online or usb it doesn't matter i believe he uses usb right here so you guys can go ahead and copy the usb storage device and then check on the very first three files that you see and then you guys can go ahead and hit copy and this just allows us you know to come back to this point at any time that we want so then you guys want to go ahead reload the game back up and then you guys can hit play next game and you'll see right here that there's still a practice available so make sure you guys don't do that team practice yet what you guys want to do is in the current season and then um you guys can hit it again and then it'll take you to the little menu where you can sim through um so go ahead in the season and then you can spam a through all this right here now the team that you choose just make sure that you guys keep up with the team that you go on because you cannot play the same practice on the same team more than once. So every time we do this glitch, you have to go to a different team. So the first team that he goes to, I believe you guys see right here, well, it looks like the Utah Jazz. So whatever team you choose, or it looks like, no, I'm sorry, it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. So whatever team you choose, just make sure you keep track of it. And then once you select the team, go ahead and load up that team practice. So, <clears throat> once you load up the team practice, 
Um, depending on how much my career you played, if you do not know a new player, you're not going to be able to choose your drill. So once you walk in, just wait and the coach will start the practice. And these are good drills. You don't get to pick what you work on, but these are Tom's two batch progress. Or if you play a little bit of my career, you might be able to pick the drills that you want to do. So in total, it'll give you four drills for every single practice. And if you do the coach practices, once again, it's a double batch progress. And then also, if you are able to do this on a date where like the legend practice, that's times four batch progress. If you're lucky enough to like get on that date, but you see right here, the coach drills are times two. So you guys, I believe he was doing this on a 60 overall as well. So if you have a player that's decently maxed out as far as like the attributes go, then you're gonna get more badge progress than this because when I made my Xbox video, it was hard to get a good teammate grade on these. But once the practice is over, go to settings, go to application, save data management. And then you guys want to go ahead and go to save data on USB storage device. And if you use PS Plus, just click just click online storage. It works the same. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you choose, you can do either one PS Plus or USB. I heard using USB is easier though. So, I mean, keep that in mind as well. And then you guys want to go to copy to system storage. And then what you guys want to do is select the very first three files that you see and then you guys want to go ahead and hit copy now once you hit copy you want to go ahead and reload the game back up so you're going to see right here once the game reloads back up go ahead and load up the player that you've been doing the glitch on and you see it's going to put us back at the point at the beginning of the video so now you guys want to go ahead and do this team practice that you see once you load up from the original team that you are on so go ahead load up this team practice and repeat the same thing like you're going to see the batch progress throughout the throughout this video just to show you guys that it is legit and you can spend this over and over again so yeah man so once you get in here if you can pick your practices you can do it that way or you can do the coach drills whichever one you guys want to do um like i said the coach drills are double bad progress i believe if you pick your own practices i believe those are not double bad progress so i mean keep that in mind as well and like i said these drills were kind of hard to do on a 60 overall when i was trying it but if you're like an 85 with some of your badges then it's gonna you know it's gonna help speed up the process for sure but you're just gonna sit right here who's just spitting through these drills and you Whenever you do these drills, try to get like three stars because that's going to give you the most badge progress possible. So you see right here, he's getting my points once again, and then he's getting all of his um, badge progress as well. So once this practice is over with, you guys just want to go ahead and repeat the same thing. And it looks like there was actually one more drill that he showed in this video right here. So if you can upgrade your shooting, you're going to be able to hit your shots a little bit more. But once the practice is over with, just go ahead and there's four drills in total. So once again, close up the application, go to settings, application, save data management. And then you guys just want to go ahead and repeat the same process that I've already showed you guys. But keep in mind, whenever we load in this time, we're going to have to pick a different team. And then um, you, you're going to pick a different team. So like I said, make sure you guys keep up which team you go to. And then you guys want to go to application save data management save data on usb storage device and you guys just want to go ahead and re-upload those files once again that i have already showed you guys so uh copy the system storage and you can do this on ps plus as well just like i've already told you guys ps plus usb it works both the same exact way so <clears throat> And then you guys want to go to copy the system storage and then select the very first three three files that you see and then you guys once again once again want to go ahead and hit copy now after you hit copy go ahead and reload the game back up and it's going to put you back at that same point at the beginning of the video so this time i want to show you guys this again so this time you do not want to play the same practices on the same date over and over again or you won't get any batch progress so once we, re we reload in this time you guys want to make sure you you uh, in the current season like we did before and then you guys want to pick a different team so at the beginning of the video what i say he went to the thunder first so this time you guys just want to go ahead and pick a completely different 
team. Now, you guys gonna see right here, there's gonna be another practice available. So this is the third practice that we did in a row without having to play a mock career game. So just to you know, make sure make sure you guys are aware, the order that this goes is you end the season, pick a team, re-upload, go back to the same, you know, save data point, do your original team practice, and then re-upload again, pick a different team, and just repeat it over and over again. Because like I said, if you try to do the same practice on the same dates, you're not gonna get any badge progress. So just make sure you guys don't mess that up. And then each time that you do this glitch, just make sure that you guys are picking a different team each time because if you if you try to choose the same team, once again, you're not gonna get any badge progress. So yeah, man, this is a super fire glitch. I cannot lie, it's a very easy way to get your badges, especially with the My Player Nation games coming to an end. And you see right here, just to show you guys, you will get badge progress every single time that you do every single time that you do this. So you see he got defending right there and like I said guys, um, this is a very good way to get your badges. Super